Mgonga ndipo umegonga ndipo mpenzi mtazamaji karibu katika kipindi cha Chicha tapa ndani ya Y254 bila kuna kwa jina Ken Relbis. And I am Patricia Muruki and on social media platforms you can reach us at y at chitchat underscore y254. I am Eve Nyaga and Chitchat is the only place where you can get the juiciest gossip, newest movie trailers and the latest music releases. Kama kawaida baran flies on dania nyumba, tukio to mejihami, kabisa kukupa ya liatendeka. Kabisa unajua wote mmesema vitu vingi ambavyo utakuwa tunafahamisha watu hapa sio mm. lakini mwisho wa siku unajua wiki iliyopita tukuepo hapa yeah. na kundradi sana watazamaji wetu ambao mmekosa kipindi mmekosa udaku lakini leo tukuwa hapa kwa ajili ya kuwapa udaku ambao wanahitaji kupata sio walikosa udaku walikosa udaku unajua yeah. kwamba kama kipindi cha chicha cha kipo mm -hmm. ubora wa mambo katika sehemu ya burudani upande yeah. wa udaku wote vitu kama vile wa pia ipo yes. tupo tumekuja tumerejea na kishindo zaidi na ningependa tunijue kwa haraka haraka kama sekunde 30 30 sio tena zina boy child imekuwaje wiki yako nzima mpaka juma msimu wiki imekuwa fresh mambo yamekuwa sambamba naam kuja kuwa natashishi tumefanya mambo kivieto naam and at the end kila kitu kimekuwa sawa uko live na maisha sio niko fit kabisa alafu kando yako hapo kuna katika tuseme kushotoka kwa masimu kule yako lakini fresh fresh tunaona na iko hapa mimi niko tu fresh bado recovering from the mister I had a good weekend. Nilienda kule mashambani. Yes, and I had a good time. Alafu kitu ambacho nitakwambia tu kwa mara ya pili. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Thank you. I at least I was a fan. I I I I told you. Yeah, actually, I said. Yeah, na ba na ilikuwa ilikuwa juzi. Yeah. Ilikuwa la misi. Mina pita pita katika Instagram kwa na twenty twenty six minutes ago. Kwa ngai ni ni yo. Ben Paul, ampiga gumo ya chini. Yes, man. Akatoa pete. Akamvisha. Anelisa muga. Na kusema yes. Anesema she said yes. So kwa kikubwa mimi kwa na juzi sisi you are mesema yes kwa kitu kipi. Lakini kwa watu mbao na juwa. Watu ambao wana akili haraka haraka ushaelewa mm -hmm. mtu kwa kawaida ile neno la she said yes ama sijui she said yes i do vitu kama vile najua ni maneno ambayo yanatumikaga sana hususan katika sehemu zile za mapenzi mapenzi katika mm -hmm. mambo ya proposal ile vitu kama vile so mshua siku acha tuashumu na tukuba tusiseme ati mimi alisema hivyo lakini tuashumu tu tuseme kwamba Ben Paul na Nelisa Mungai mchele ni karibu so sijui na Eh? I'm telling this guy, and this is a gentleman. He's doing I things the right way. Yeah, he went home yeah. met the parents and all those Sika things. Sika man, Sika man, when they took her, 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 when he deserves all the congratulations. At least, yeah, yeah, natu, natu, anisha vinyo tunafaa kupitia, kina Ken Relbis kama mjawa, at least, yo, mnafaa kufuata njia kama za Ben Paul, at least. Kina tuonisha picha nzuri kwa jamii. Analisa, Analisa herself is very happy. As in, ukiangalia tu kutoka watu wanze kudate, even on social media, unajua tu kuna mtu, unanga tu blue flani for like this glow. Mm-mm. It's a true girl. It's a true girl. It's a true girl. Unajua kipicho mbacho pia sijaelewa, Ben Paul maybe wangeji upeso chosesi. Unawato kuna picha mbo ilipostiwa na watu wa kampuni. Siku siku saki kutagi yu kampuni sababu mtakwa mbo tunapanya matangazo. Lakini ni watu mbo wana kampuni ya mambo ya tour and travel kutoka mavili. Waka post picha ya Anelisa Mungai. Wakisema nikama, ni post mbo nikama 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 Anelisa na tarajia mbo. Na watu wakenda pali katika page ya Nelisa Mungaya kuna kumtumia jumbe saa ongera wanatarajia mtu kutukama vile. 
So what you come to the pool and see a mambo on the other side? Don't be surprised. Uh-huh. Job, by the way, no. sometimes, senye, maybe I'm going to do right, and then there's a baby on the way. They tend to propose at least to the pangit court to make a rusi before the baby comes. Yeah. But, but it's still not okay. But it's okay. Also, it's good to, to do confirmation. Iyo mm-hmm. itakuwa kama confirmation yeah. ya mambo ya, ya jayo. At least <laughs> it should be something it's confirmed on this side. Like and like ukisema kama ni confirmation, kwa ni fungate ni ya nini uwa? Kwa fungate ni ya nini? But anyway, me too, Niseme too. I wish them all the best. This is not an easy journey, so... No, atakia tu kila laira. And we don't know what a kosa na uko katikati ya tu. Oh, now, um, tumefika maali. Me, this one. I told you. No, this one, let me tell you. Me ni liwambia yi na mka. This one, this one, I'm betting on it. This one, I, I, I'll put all my coins on this one. Me, kitu wabacho kina nipa moyo pene, kina nipa kama simpia silimia me moja, simpia silimia tisai na upa silimia temani na tano hivi. Kwa nini? Kama mwanamuke uke una mekubali mwanaume ambaye na mtoto, Yo manamke yuko tayari kwa chochote na kwamba yuko tayari kukaa hapa. Ushaelewa? Sika waida wasema sasa kwa ni patashika eh. Siumalizie tu hiyo nini. That hiyo ni conversation nyingine tofauti. Sasa wameshasema uwanja ni mwatia unajua. Sisi mtu ni karibu sio. Mtazamaji ambaye yuko pale nyumbani very simple. Pia tunakupa nafasi uwanja ni wako kutawala pale katika mtandao wa kijamii Facebook, Twitter, Instagram kwa jina moja tita to i254. Tuna picha zetu pale tuna tuna tabasamu jinsi tulivyo hapa tukitabasamu. Unaachia comment. Unataka mtazamo kwa wapi maoni yako ni yapi? Naje kuna kitu ambacho nataka tuongeze ngo nitataka tukipunguze kuna sema tu na sita kuna kisha kama tunaiangaza ni Tekken Realbis muite Eve Nyaga muite Patricia Moroki muite Baden please top to top sasa hiyo top to top turudi baba katika mambo mengine hapa mapenzi mapenzi yeah. Diamond Platinums yeah. Zari P square cheke chigunda <coughs> yani watu wengi wametajwa Diamond Juice alikuwa katika maojano fulani hivi ya station yake ambayo yamezindua juice na kipindi kipya Diamond anaweza kufika mambo mengi sana ambayo <laughs> Yaani fanya wao kuna watu walijawa na na hasira na kuna watu pia walijawa na furaha. Lakini kuna kitu kikubwa ambacho Diamond alitaja katika ile interview na kitu ambacho vilifanya mimi ningesi ah. Mwisho siku nahitaji kuzungumzia. Kikubwa ambacho kilitokea pale ni alianza kufunga mambo mengi. Unajua baada ya wao kuachana na Zari, vitu vilikuwa vimezungumziwa watu kujua nini kilisababisha nini. Tukama vitu vilikuwa vinasikia tu upande wa Zari. Zari akisema kwamba Diamond ana chini. Eh acha kusikia Zari alifanya nini? Mondi tu kusikia. Sasa Mondi ameweza kafunguka sasa. Akasema kwamba Zari pia alikuwa anamchiti na trainer Zari alikuwa na mchiti na Paul Peter wa Peace Square na alisema kama alikuwa anaonaga message mpaka anasema alikuwa anapata ile trainer anakuja kwa nyumba kwa mambo yao pale ya kitandani yanatokea pale really? kama vile na akasema vitu ambavyo vilimtamausha na akasema kwamba yeye aje yeye achone mwanamke na kitaka akitaka mwanamke amuache huwa anafanya drama yani anafanya mambo mpaka nee. atakimbia kama uliacha so kufanya uliacha kifupi kwa namaanisha kwamba kifupi alikuwa anajaribu kumaanisha kwamba vile vitu ambavyo Zari alikuwa anamkiusu kufanya tusijui kuchit na madem ni asema yeye alikuwa ni alikuwa anafanya invitation alikumfukuza Zari akimbie hiyo ni kusema mambo mengine pia alikuwa anajaribu kuonyesha kwamba Zari ni ka defense hiyo sasa ni ku try ku defend and he's being very petty for that yeah it's true he's being very petty kama if you if you did wrong stop trying to defend yourself ulifanya makosa ukaachika ya <laughs> 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 Diamond. 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 Diamond.
wakati alienda kupiga magoti alikuwa anataka hii mambo yaishe yatulie warudi kama wapenzi waelewane kivya ukiima lakini sasa ile ile attitude ama ile kuyu, ile ile sasa hasira za za zari ile kujitoa oh nini it was a fair and fair tacha ni kwambie mtu acha kuanika and everything is on the media Unaenda tena kupiga magoti unapiga nini? Unajua kuna zile ukimzalilisha tena vibaya sana. Okay, sasa unaona hiyo ali Zari alijibu. Zari alijibu sababu ya machungu. Sasa imefika mahali Diamond amedhalishwa amedhalishwa mpaka akasema ah da imefika mwisho. Lakini mwana katika wa kukubali mwenye alisema hivi. Alisema hata alisema mwenye ndanukuma mbo yake Diamond aliposema. Alisema kwamba nakubali kabisa mimi nimejaribu ali mambo ya Zari. Nakubali tena tabia zangu zile za mara leo sijui iko pale sijui kina mara kina chocolate mara pale ndio kwenye peni mara leo iko kwenye if maybe kwenye fatirisha ushelewa aisha tanya shindo na kwa sini fuata ah sisi mimi lakini nasema kisha sikwani alikuwa anajaribu kumaanisha kwamba yani kwa kidogo mtu tu anapiga mambo yake fresh ni mwisho siku alikubali alikosea lakini mwisho siku bado akanichanganya sasa ndio ndio alikubali lakini kwanza ni simba ule tuelewe kabisa simba ni damu ni simba muda watu sasa ndio ndio kabisa hapo hapo tunakubaliana kwanza ilimgusa <laughs> 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 in a past life that we were together and that we're soulmates so it was <gasps> like you have to decide if you want to be together or not be together wait what what cuz the healer told Courtney that uh the person she has had in her past that is Scott is a soulmate and we well, were like why would you get something so deep like that na sisi as in vitu walikuwa wanafanyiwa eti sijui anachukua straw sijui anatoa sijui ni ganga mani toka huko kwa goti so that can, yeah and uh, i think i think it's either chloe or <laughs> chloe i think ni waganga wa states hakuna mganga wa watu na watu have to happen like this but me neither say me if there's something i'm very optimistic about is scott and courtney as in siku moja tu hawa watu are you sure if this one i'm very positive are you sure i'm very positive but you know vile ulisema story ya anelisa na ben paul so what are true to say me maybe you have maybe maybe the pain yeah i'm ganga wa teacher so kuna possibility maybe that they will get back together this one too because you see as in unaona when you want to drift you see how people like when you want to concern you know now amenyamaza when you want to concern and and things happen do you mind about sasa kuzungumzia ndaonekana kama mbaya ndaonekana kama negative unachukua kiume na wafahamu sana kwanza wale ambao wana rap so go by singing no scott does not rap scott does not rap scott is gonna act you like no scott yani yo jina mweny
there is someone coming to tone her down. Yeah. Um, Rihanna has been dating this guy, rich guy, like Akona, Akona writes the distribution near Toyota. He's an Islamic guy, and I told her. Just tell them his net worth is billions yeah, of billi dollars. Billions of dollars. Oh. And this other one, on the oh. other hand, pay yako na pesa ka kitengine. So now he wants to tone her down. You know, vile yuva revealing clothes. He wants her to to wear less revealing clothes, according to a former friend of Rihanna. And she's actually doing it because her son says that he wants to make her a, a, a suitable Muslim bride. And they're actually teasing about getting married and kupata watoto. So I don't know if that will happen. Kama kuambia kadibia vayi nguwe za nchiri. Kuyo ezi va. 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 Basi Rihanna tabadilika. Sisemi kingine. No, no, no. no. I always say, say my evil. She don't has her that. own empire. Wewe wajiwe wa pisa za mwanome ni tamu sana. She has her own empire. Wewe wa own money is sweet. The number one is money. Hey. No, let me tell you. Acha ni acha ni kuambia pesa. Acha ni kuambia kitu moja. Pesa yangu ni tamu. Ndio. So bia mwanaume anazaisha. Alafu ni kuambia kitu kimoja. Unaona wakati wewe unapokea mshahara mimi 1500 mimi napata 1500. Nikakumbia nataka hata huo pesa. Kwa nini hiyo pesa yangu itaisha? Kwa sababu unaisikia utamu unaikula sana. Eh unaitumia kwa sana. Unajisi kama unajisi kama Tulia. Queen hivi ushanielewa. Tulia. Kupeleka out na kupeleka sehemu. Unasikia hata flani. Wewe unajua anajua tunaongelea nani? Siriana, That is your problem.